They all came to stand in line with me because I was thrown on the roster last minute. <laughs> so thank you guys anyway. Um, sometimes I get up here and go on and on, and other times I take questions. So today we're going to take questions. Do we have an extra mic by any chance? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Hey, Hi! <laughs> Who has questions? Stand up and Jatana can walk around and hand you guys a mic and we'll see how many we can get answered in the however amount of time I have up here. First question. Hey, welcome. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Jatana, and everyone who made this possibility here in DC. Thank you for being here. Um, I would like to know if there is discussion about an active maternity program. There, there is an active maternity program. If, if there's um, a larger rollout of that program. Uh, so, okay, so the question is, is there an active maternity program coming? Right now there is active maternity series on Beachbody On Demand. Uh, there is a first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, and a postnatal. Uh, we actually just talked about this on the airplane, and I can't say we resolved anything yet, because I don't think we did. <laughs> I'll keep working on it. We'll see where we get. Who cool. else? Hi, Adam. Wait, wait, wait. My to left, left. And my right. To your left. Okay, okay, there we go. So, first of all, thank you so much for, you know, changing my body and car. Thank you so much for giving a family. I moved here with two bags and nothing when I was 21, and Beachbody gave me a family. So, thank you. Um, I had to ask, I'm in the Masters uh, Challenge group, and you were saying not to do yoga and anything on the rest day. Why is that? I was thinking that yoga is not really a workout to me. I know. Sorry. Sorry. No, no. It's good. I'm glad you asked. Um, so for those who aren't in the Masters Hammer and Chisel, uh, the Masters Challenge group on Facebook, I did get on my little soapbox the other day and yelled at everybody who was trying not to take a rest day. Um, here's why. When we create the program, there is a science behind it. We don't just throw workouts on a calendar and be like, that sounds like good order. Let's give them that. We, we, we're very specific about how we do things, and your body is very specific about what it needs to build muscle, to lose weight, and to recover from everything that you're doing with that. With the Masters Hammer and Chisel, this is a very intense resistance training program if you're pushing yourself. The recovery days are built in for a reason. Most people don't know this. They think all the magic happens when you're lifting weights. They're like, yes! getting stronger, I'm improving my body. Mm, it's not technically true. That's where all the breakdown of your body happens. That's where you tear muscle fibers, that's where you break your body down. Great, that's awesome if you choose to rest because when you rest is when the repair happens. That's when you get stronger. So if you don't take that rest day that we're giving you, your body's not recovering from the beating you just gave it for the last three days, which means when you go into the next workout, you don't have as much energy. You aren't as strong. Your muscle fibers haven't had a chance to repair. You're not going to get as much from that workout. And that is going to continue throughout the entire process to the point where you're going to go, eh, master's hammer and chisel didn't work. And I'm going to go, did you follow the program the way I wrote it or did you do it your own way? Because the way we wrote it was the way to be most effective. So I know a lot of people want to go and do yoga and other things on the rest day. But if we wanted you to do yoga on the rest day, we would have wrote it in like a gym 21 day fix. So on rest day, I want you to keep eating clean, I want you to use your containers, and then I want you to put your butt on the couch and watch TV, or play with your kids, or go see a movie, or do something. But I want you to wrap your brain around the fact that it's okay to take 24 hours to rest. Take it from somebody who has not done it in the past, and who has end up laid out with their back out for 10 days. Take your rest days. It's just one day a week. So that's my long soapbox answer. <laughs> over on the long head of I see a hand that shot up over here. Just yell it loud, it's okay. Come on over here. <laughs> I'm assuming you're gonna give me a signal when you're like, stop walking. No, you're just gonna sit here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, always grumpy. Okay, good. Um, question first. So, my name is Nico, uh, and I would like to single something out. Laura, where are you? Laura, yes, stand up. So, Laura is the reason I'm here, actually. She bought two tickets because she upgraded to VIP, and she gave me the other one. 
Um, but I first off wanted to thank you. Um, when I started the 21 Day Fix, I weighed 339 pounds. So, no, it's not 339. So, I am going to do something real quick. So, I see a, why do I see a burpee coming? <laughs> so, this is the first time I have ever done this in public. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Um, but, as of this morning, I was 276 pounds. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still a very mess, so thank you all. Um, but, uh, I wanted to say thank you because your energy, like on the videos and everything else, is what actually kept me in the program, besides Laura's rather incessant bothering me to make sure that I'm getting in. <laughs> my workout and getting in my Shakeology and everything else. Um, so what I wanted to ask though, because I'm lactose intolerant, um, so there's currently two flavors of Shakeology that I can actually take or drink, not medicine. Um, but uh, are there plans to release more vegan flavors? Boss man. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not in that department. Um, hold on, I'll let him have my early. Valid question, um, and uh, we'll have to get two more questions up here. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, we don't talk about product development in these kind of settings. Because it wouldn't be fair to everybody else who didn't get to see us. We are always experimenting because the formula is so um, uh, dense, and there are very uh, potent strong ingredients in there, which is why vanilla was so difficult to achieve even in the whey-based formula. But uh, we, I, here's the promise I can make. We hear people asking for that. We know people want more flavors, they want more vegan flavors, and we're constantly, literally, constantly working on it, just like it took us forever to figure out vanilla, and just like it took us forever to figure out how to do a coffee flavor without just pouring coffee in it. So you have my promise that if we can do it, if we can achieve it, and stay true to what Shakeology is, we will do it. But we have a lot of stuff in the back. So. Somebody else has a question while we snap a photo. Last two questions here. What's next? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> So first I wanted to say, you know, thank you not just to everybody that came to speak, but to DC Market Council, because I flew in from San Diego and it did not disappoint. So thank you everybody for that. Um, that being said, I'll be really quick with my question. Um, obviously I'm traveling. I'm doing hammer and chisel right now. How do you still do that program when it requires so much equipment? Because they don't really allow the workout bench on the plane, so. <laughs> um, so that is a great question because the Master's Hammer and Chisel is probably, at least for me, it has the most equipment in any program I've put out to date. Uh, that being said, for every piece of equipment we have in the program, we show you the move to do without the piece of equipment. So every time there's a bench move, if you're stepping on the bench, we show you how to do it, you know, like if there's a step up onto the bench, we're showing you how to do a curtsy lunge without the bench. If there is a bench press laying on the bench, we show you how to do it on a stability ball. Even if you don't have a stability ball, you can lay down on the floor and do a bench press. So the bottom line is, is where there's a will, there's a way. You might have to modify the exercise. You might have to get creative. Like maybe you're not doing a bench press and maybe you get down and do some push-ups while you're traveling. But the key is to keep going with your workouts and not lose momentum when you're traveling. All right, so we have another audience in here that wants to ask you a question. What's my name? And we're squeaking, that's me. Go ahead, what's the question? Say it again. Oh, it's okay. I just didn't hear you. But I love your cowboy moves. She wants to know what's your favorite color. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is the one you have on that pom pom right there. Aww. My favorite color is purple. Can I have a hug? You want mommy to take one?
going to. Okay, come here. Oh. Ready? 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 Oh. <laughs> so much. I love you guys, all you guys. You mean so much to me. But um, I just recently found out I was pregnant. Congratulations. Thank you. Before I found out I was pregnant though, I was, I promoted to start a challenge group for our hammer and chisel. Okay. So we start on Monday. My question is, am I able, or is this something you would recommend someone who's pregnant? What to, have you been doing before? What were you doing? I think size, um, extreme. So you're active. Yes. Okay. So here's the bottom line. If you get clearance from your doctor, by all means, go ahead. You're going to probably have to modify down no matter what, because first trimester, you're not going to feel wonderful and your yeah, workouts right. are hard as it is. So you might be using really light weights. You might be using no weights at all. You might not make it through some of the workouts, the plyometrics. As you get further, how far along are you right now? Like seven weeks. Okay. So. To be honest with you, you could probably finish hammer and chisel before you get to the point yes. where you can't do exercises on your back and the jumping and the da 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 da. Okay. Once you finish one round of it, I would Stop. put that to the side until you have the baby. I'd go back to 21 day fix okay. and stick there. But since you're so early on, as long as you're not having any complications and the doctor is okay with it, I would say go for it and just modify when necessary. And I asked her too, but since you're right here, I figured. <laughs> So, yeah. Thank you so much. Just yeah. also make sure you add in about 300 extra calories into your plan, not 500, 300. 500 is for breastfeeding. Everybody, I get that question all the time. 500 is for breastfeeding, 2 to 300 is for pregnancy. That baby is not that big yet. It's like the size of a pig. You don't need that much extra calories. So I'm saying when my friend somebody has a gift for you. So oh, okay. That's right, Autumn. I got a present for you. Because I'm a P90X guy, but I've been working out with my dad doing 21 Days Fix. He's okay. 53 years old, and it's killing him. But this was one of his favorite quotes, and he wanted me to give this to him. Oh. So I had this made last night for you. I love it. <laughs> this is what I tell everybody. Hey, me today. Love me tomorrow. If you are not, like, tomorrow that you love me, it's probably several weeks later. Yeah. You're like, thank you. Thank you. That was very sweet. I love that. I'm gonna work my workout tomorrow. Okay, wait, come here. One more. We'll do a photo and yell at me and be like, we're gonna be I was hoping I was gonna Wait. pull the autumn card. Did you pull the autumn card? Other than this? He's like, that's what the t-shirt was for. I'm somewhat shaking up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm